I think I've worked with more or less everyone in like, let's say the, the urban scene from like Dizzy Rascal, Skepta, JM Meep, Stormzy, Lethal Bizzwing. It's almost impossible for me to pick a video that had the most impact on me, but I think I've got to say that the one that comes to mind has to be um, Buster Rhymes, Give Me Some More. When I saw you know, the creativity that went behind it, that's when I said, yes, I want to get into this. This is what I want to do. Like music videos is, is a thing for me. Like I love music, I love visuals, and the marriage between the two just made me want to just, to just do it. You know, and as a shorty, I was always told that if I ain't gonna be part of the greatest, I gotta be the greatest myself. Come on, come on, yeah, come on. For me, the process of creating a music video from like concept to delivery would probably be, I'd, I'd hear the song, I'd have to listen to it like a hundred times and, until I know like every word. And then by that time, I should have an, a, a visual of what I want to do, like an image of, of what, what I want to do. It might be a lyric, it might be the chorus, it might be one element, one word of the song that hits to me. Then you, you brainstorm, you start, you start to just to write down different ideas. Once I've, once, once I've got key words, key lyrics, key concepts, the, the, story, the story might have a concept, the song might have a concept or a certain lyric, I'll start to Google images. Google images, read books, look at pictures, find out what images match these themes and words. And once I put that together, that, that's when you start building your treatment. I say a lot about style, but I don't know if I have a particular style. One thing I would say is that the way I used to edit my videos was very musical. I do appreciate the marriage of music and, and art and just not just putting shots in there for, the, for shot's sake, making sure that things cut together and when you're watching it, you're still enjoying the music as well as watching the visuals. Smoking illegal, no, we are so not equal. Ooh. Them men are cloning people. Nice. Anything I do, they bite. How do you sleep at night? Uh -huh. Is it codeine and Sprite? I switch up the sneeze on guys. Wow. I mean, people think that you need to have like thousands and thousands of pounds to like make the, the, the perfect music video or make the, the most iconic music video. But there are so many examples of, of videos that have like really hit and gone, done so well without any money. If you think of um, That's Not Me by um, Skepta and JME, like that video was shot for 80 pounds and it won a mobile award. I'm looking for a girl with the X Factor, but I don't judge like Simon does. From day one, I said I was serious, then serious hit the jackpot. People ask what music I make, turn the volume up, cause that's what. I don't wear no bait designer brands, I spit deep bars on my black top. You'll never see me smoking a cigarette car, cigarette smoke car, that's not me. There's always challenges. There's never enough money and, but especially when you're starting out, the, the budgets are, you know, same to nothing. Um, that's when it, it becomes really helpful to like know people and to talk to people. The more con the more contacts you can make, the more people that you can vibe with, you can start getting favours. A lot of music video stuff at the start and even when you're doing massive budgets, a lot of it comes to like favours and knowing people and building relationships. You can borrow a camera here, borrow a camera there, get on a, a video set, see what you can do. Um, use your phones, you know, there's so many different options, um, but the most important thing is to get out and, and do it. One piece of advice I would give to anyone aspiring to do videos or be a director or do anything like that is I would say watch as much different things as you can. Don't just watch the things that you think you like. Try and watch different things that you might not like. Um, branch out, broaden your horizons and more, most importantly the thing I'd say is just start shooting, start working. Don't think about it. We have phones now, we have iPhones that can shoot HD. Just start shooting stuff. Shoot and watch, shoot and watch. That's the best advice I can give to anyone. <laughs>